What's up, Yens? This week, Car Dad Bill's got a 2023 Hyundai Palisade. This is the calligraphy edition. This is all-wheel drive. This is the seven-passenger version of the of the Palisade from Hyundai. There's also an eight-passenger version. Um, this has three seats in the third row, which makes puts this in a different category for me as a car dad and as a dad in general. Um, when I was searching for these size vehicles for me, myself and my family, the Palisade with the eight-seater was one of them. Let's go for a ride. All right, guys, first take on the Palisade calligraphy. Number one, beautiful green color on the outside. They call that green Robust Emerald. Really nice color on the outside. Black interior, loaded to the gills, double sunroofs, not a panoramic sunroof, double sunroofs. Big wheels, lighting packages. Um, the interior in here is gorgeous, and you'll see that later. But I had this vehicle for a road trip. I took it to uh, Myrtle Beach and back um, for a golf trip, and had eight sets of clubs back there. I had four guys in the vehicle when we would go to courses. Um, two and back was a, a splendid trip and the car really reacted really, really well. There's a couple things I'll talk about later that were a pain in the butt, but for the most part, this was a great uh, commuting family vacation vehicle. I mean, you couldn't ask for more, uh, especially on the highway and some of the roads I drove on. It was, it was, it was awesome. And, uh, but let's get to the full review. Hey, Yens, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel. I appreciate everyone watching. Let's get some more cars and let's go for more rides. All right, guys, inside the Palisade. And what are the first things you notice about this thing? I mean, to me, it's all of that, like, glossy, glossy lines. And how it all blends together. Digital dashboards. How it blends together, you know, and comes down the door sides. And then you have that awesome... Here are the awesome speaker grills for your Harman Kardon. Everything looks like brushed aluminum along here. And then see the lighting underneath there. Really cool. Really nice and clean. Love how this all looks. And I love how this all looks. I love how there's the dashboard with your screens and what you need to do up there. Then you have the seamless integration of your of your vents across with your start stop button over here. Then you have your your dedicated buttons that control that. Your HVAC controls which are dedicated down here which are super clean. Your actual temperature knob here. You touch this for your fan touch for your uh, direction and all that then down here simple integration buttons instead of gear knobs your drive modes your seat selections and your heated steering wheel and then your auto off and all that stuff but just look and then i love this because this gives us somewhere to put stuff right but then when you open this up underneath you have your cup holders, which are hidden when you get the car. And then you open them up and now you can put your stuff. Wireless charging down there. You also have a plug. Really clean seats. Look at that design on the seats, stitched in there. Really nice back seats. 
In fact, let's go back there and talk about it. All right, guys, back seat. Same, similar stitching door design. You have your additional vents or additional screens back here. Palisade on the door. These seats are kind of cool because they do their tilt thing and they do their tilt thing so you can get back there. But here you can actually slide it backwards and forwards. That gives these folks a little bit more room to get in and out. Back here you have charging ports on each side and then you have more charging down there and then you have your HVAC settings right there, heated and cooled rear seats. Third row seats, hit this button, that slides forward. There's now a step to get back there. And there's three seats back there. One, two, three. Let's take a look at the trunk. Here we go, trunk opens up. With the third row up, this is adequate for backpacks, duffel bags, two sets of golf clubs, stuff like that. When you start to move this stuff down, because you have a button right here, now this is removed and now you have a huge space. I had eight sets of golf clubs here. I had four on the bottom and I flipped the other four this way and put them on top. Eight sets of golf clubs, really big back seat or really big back storage area once that's flattened down. Let's go for a ride. All right guys, before we get on the road, I wanted to, to take a minute to talk about the numbers like we normally do. 2023 Hyundai Palisade all-wheel drive calligraphy, right? Um, MSRP on this one is 52,310. They say you could average 21 miles per gallon. I averaged 23, almost 24 miles per gallon during my week with this vehicle, which was encompassing 600 or 1200 miles of driving to and from um, so to average out at 24 miles per gallon is pretty good for a 3.8 liter V6, 291 horsepower, 5,000 pound towing capacity, and an eight speed automatic. So, you know, 291 horsepower for a 3.8 liter to get 25 miles to the gallon, 24 miles to the gallon is pretty good. Um, this car, this is the robust Emerald seven passenger let's get out on the road and talk about the pros and cons because there's a there's a couple of each but really it's it's leaning towards the great side of you know family suvs but let's get out there and all right guys so let's talk about the good and the bad like we normally do try to keep this one quick for you because it's it's really self self-explanatory especially when you saw how it looks and everything like that and what it, how it's set up in here it's a great family hauler it's a great commuter vacation vehicle um couple of the pros and cons let's go over the cons though real fast because there's only a few of those and they're and they're annoying i love all the digital readouts in here i love all the digital dashboards all your different features i love all the different assistance features as well your blind spot monitoring your radar cruise control um, your lane departure assist all that good stuff some of the semi-autonomous features like driving on the highway and things like that you don't necessarily need it is a good assistance aid, let's call it that. However, this thing comes with a bunch of highway assistance programs that really interfere and they really intervene with you as you're driving. And I don't know how to explain that really well. You have to kind of experience it for yourself. But let me just give you this update. It's when you're driving towards, when you have the cruise control set it, let's say you set it at 75 miles an hour in a 70 mile an hour zone, and you are driving down along, the cruise control is activated, it's looking for cars ahead of you, it's keeping you at speed. As you approach a corner, a turn in the road, a bend in the highway, the car slows down while you're entering the bend and while you're in the bend, and then it accelerates at the end of the corner, at the end of the bend, out of it back to what you had it set on so in theory as you're set at 75 and you're going up to the corner it drops you down to like 68 miles an hour 67 miles an hour turns the corner and then brings you back up to your 75 with no traffic on the road perfect conditions I can see maybe that being a little bit of a helper but it, you, but I don't 
I turned it off immediately because it's slowing me down and I don't like that. I don't like, I like to keep consistency. That's what cruise control's for. It's for efficiency and consistency, right? That eliminates it. I mean, maybe it's safer. I don't know if it's safer or not, but you're slowing down in traffic as well, which is another no-no in my book. But anyway, those, those are the two things. It's the tech nannies and the cruise control auto braking that really drove me crazy. I turned it off. So those are my those are my two things in the bad. Let's get to the good. So now we're talking about the good. And there's a there's a few things, right? And right off the bat, what's what's gonna be your number one thing on the list uh, when you're dealing with a vehicle like this? And and in my mind, it's ease of use, it's utility, it's good mileage, it's all that stuff packed into one package, because that's what you want when you're buying a seven, eight passenger vehicle. You have a family, you have people you need to take around and you wanna do it as, as fuel efficiently as possible, right? And you wanna do it as comfortably as possible without breaking the bank buying an $80,000 SUV. 52,000 gives you a loaded version of this. It's only a seven, not an eight. Most people don't need the eight. And it's got a, it's got a complete package with it. Smooth ride, all the tech, some new tech with the um, turn signals and the gauges down here when you turn your turn signal on you see the lane you're turning into, like a blind spot kind of camera. So that tech is great. Another aspect that I found great while I was driving down to the beach was just its direct steering, great braking, even handling. Um, the cruise control was wonderful when I turned off all the nannies on it, um, but you know, most of the drive and, and the stress of a drive like that was pretty much alleviated for the most part because this thing behaves so well, especially in a highway environment um, where you're driving kind of fast and, and you're going around bends and things. This is a very good vehicle. Now I'm getting on the highway here. I don't think you're gonna be able to hear anything um, as far as the engine goes because it's definitely well insulated and the motor is not that loud. Uh, but it does have 291 horsepower a little less than that in torque numbers, but it's plenty. Super smooth eight-speed transmission. Um, gets you up to gets you up to highway speeds in no time. Even fully loaded down like I was last weekend. But I mean, once you're on the highway, it is an absolute dream on the highway. Very smooth, very balanced. Uh, like I said before. So, thumbs up from Car Dad Bill. Great vehicle. Take it on trips. You can haul your family around. You can hold a lot of stuff back there. Car Dad Bill this week. Real cars, real people, real life. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Talk to you guys next time.